Buongiorno from Cinque Terre, Italy. In our last video, we explored the small province of Pisa, and now we are doing hiking and trains in Cinque Terre. And I'm so excited because look at how cute it is. Please don't not jump. For our usual MO, cutting it very close. Five minutes to get to the bus, and that's if it's like running on schedule. Sometimes they're early, sometimes they're late. But if it's early, we could be in trouble. Minor issue, we have two minutes, and we're not exactly sure where the bus stop is. Do you want to go to the train station? Yeah. This is good? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. <laughs> we will leave you in front of the train station. Oh, perfect. The guy's directions that he gave us on the bus is going to take us, we're going to get to the train station 10 minutes after the train leaves. I do not want to wait 50 minutes at the train station, so. We're waiting seven minutes for the next bus and we should still get there in time. If we miss this bus, it doesn't come again until 11.41. It's 8.45 a.m. right now. It's in three hours. That is not our bus. That is the one that everybody else came for. We had about a 15 minute window to make our train. That is shrinking as we speak. We're down to about 10 minutes. That is also not our bus. Uh, bus isn't coming. So we're walking a little farther to try to find a more reliable bus route. Okay, made it to the next bus stop. Scheduled in five minutes. Hopefully it comes early because we're only going to be three minutes late as of now. Hopefully the train's late too. Like we missed it. The next train's not for like an hour. It's not even on the board yet. Maybe we can find espresso. Hey. Okay. is normally covered with the orange and the teal umbrellas that you see all over social media. But in the winter, it's totally empty. We are in the beautiful town of Monteroso and we have about a 10 minute walk from the train station to the beginning of our first hike of the day. We've officially made it on the trail Santiero Asuro, I believe is the name. It stands for Blue Path, which makes total sense because all along the waters are crystal clear and like fake blue. Hands on the hips are already happening. It's totally justified. It's very steep, but at least it's 
mostly paved and with staircases. <sighs> This trail used to be marked by blue and white stripes, but now it's red and white. Because there's a couple of different forks in the road sometimes, but you just follow the red and white stripes and hopefully we'll make it to where we're supposed to go. We have gained lots of elevation. Look at that view though. My gosh, beautiful. We're getting past for the first time already. Oh my gosh, they're so unaffected by this. You're talking on the phone with someone while doing this. That's ridiculous, good for them. I just hit my uh, move target on my Apple Watch though. Nice, good job. Ciao. Ciao. We got past again. <laughs> it's happening very quickly. <laughs> I feel like we made it to the top. And by feel like it, she means that neither of us can feel our quads. The sign says we are not even halfway yet. We thought we were at least halfway by now, if not further. Finally over halfway. And that's how far we've come. Feels like more, but even still, when you look back on it, it's quite a lot. It took us two hours, but we made it to Vernaza, our second town. It'd be five. Time for lunch. street. I can touch both sides at the same time. It's so cute. It's so cute. It smells so good too. I'm so hungry. We snagged the last table at the only open restaurant here. The shrimp came with its claws and everything. <laughs> I don't know how to eat them. I'm just gonna try the pasta. That was a good start. Mm -hmm. Somehow I convinced Nate to do something crazy. There's no dressing rooms. <laughs> so I made one. All right. <laughs> Let's go jump in some water. <laughs> Looks so strange. You're under a car at the bottom. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ready? One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Now that we are soaking wet and freezing, it's time to jump on the train one more time to hit one more of the five towns. Unfortunately, we only have time for three today and we are racing the sun because it is about to set. Side note, no idea where we're going. We're trying to get to the spot for sunset that Alicia has been looking forward to ever since we've been in Italy. 
all you need to do is go there, there, there. Boom, view. The hike, which is very well paved so far, is supposed to take 20 minutes. But when Alicia wants something, she can move. I think she saves all the energies from all the other days of the year for moments just like this. <laughs> so true. Fun story, I downloaded a picture just like this a long time ago when we were setting up our website and I didn't have enough travel photos yet. And I didn't know where it was, I just knew it was Italy. And now, here I am, taking similar pictures at a beautiful sunset. Hey Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so cold. We are officially freezing, but we came, we saw three cities. It was amazing. The most important one. I don't even know what this one's called. Monte Rosso? No, that's the first one. Stands for the most beautiful. <laughs> I don't remember what it's called. That's not true either. But we hope you enjoyed this video more than our made up nonsense about the city. And if you did, hit the like button below. And if you want to stamp your passport with us again, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we're actually hanging out in the van. I'm excited. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got a whole thing planned. Tiny home party. <laughs> Good night. If you know me at all, I hate moving. It sounds really bad, but I'm not in shape, so this is extra difficult. Those of you that don't know that dance yet, that's the happy dance. It means it's time to uh, use the restroom. Please don't not jump. <laughs>